Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at the Data Streaming Summit uh, 2025. Super excited to be here with Ashwin Raja from Motorc. Uh, Ashwin, welcome to the Robert Show. It's your debut. Super excited to chat with you today. Thank you. Ashwin, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what do you do at Motorc? Um, I'm a co-founder and a CTO at Motorc. I own the engineering side of things. Uh, nice. At Motorc, uh, we are we are the leading connected car data company in the uh, in the US and we're expanding to other geographies. Nice. Uh, we've built uh, one of the most advanced uh, connected vehicle uh, intelligence platforms and we partner with uh, auto OEMs, leading auto OEMs and we uh, serve some of the top organizations in the industries that we impact. That's fantastic. We, Thanks for giving us a quick background around that. Uh, also wanting to know since we're here at the streaming conference, what real time problem are you solving? Uh, kind of wanting to know a little bit. Um, streaming is core to us. At, at Motorc, we deal with connected car data, so yep. uh, real-time data from cars, we, we have tons of data streamed to us all the time, and many of our use cases at our customer's side, they require uh, uh, insights to be delivered uh, to them in near real time. Exactly. So this is core to our problem. We've been solving it ourselves from early times, but it's good that there's the industries uh, developing around that and they're building mature systems. And over time, we'd ideally like to help them, take their help in solving these problems. We want to focus more on innovation on top of that. I love it. Um, also, since uh, you know, Data Streaming Summit is hosted by Stream Native, and I know uh, you all have been using Stream Native. So why Stream Native? What product are you all using? And uh, what was the reason behind starting with Stream Native? Uh, we've, we've been, uh, we know these people for a while from the Pulsar uh, community and yeah. over time and we've been following that we, we always had respect uh, uh, at the, the CG and you know, yeah. uh, folks as one of some of the top uh, leaders in this uh, industry and many of our um, other connections have been kind of uh, recommending uh, them too. That's and awesome. we've seen the work that we do and we've, uh, but I would say, you know, fast forward now we are really happy about their support. What what our team really loves is how quickly they are able to support our requests. So we are very excited about it. It's also it. more like the teammate that you all are working with. It should feel that way and feels like Stream Native is a teammate to uh, Motorc and it just becomes easier to work with them. I'm kind of also wanting to know a little bit about uh, the product and you know, what you all have been using at Stream Native and how are you seeing the results as well. If you can share a little bit about it. Yeah, the managed Pulsar offering has been exciting. So we were always excited about uh, Pulsar uh, and its architecture. So we did not want to run our own clusters. So it's good that uh, once they started offering these managed Pulsar offerings. And then when ARSA came into picture and uh, that ARSA is able to uh, uh, directly deliver the streams to our uh, lake houses, that was, uh, that was definitely a, a great post to us. This is something nice. that we were experimenting for a while and how things are all... Um, uh, is, is c coming uh, to uh, these newer solutions, we are uh, uh, we are very excited, and I think this can be a good foundational um, setup for for the upcoming workloads that we are predicting. Yeah, I've been also seeing uh, today morning at the keynote. I've been hearing a lot more about Arsa, and then you know, obviously how they've been uh, taking it to the next level. Not only just. Uh, the data streaming, but also the AI, the agents, and how they are, you know, uh, making sure that the customers, the users kind of feel more confident about streaming as well. Uh, talking a little bit about the future as well, uh, how do you see the space moving, maybe the data streaming space in the next, maybe eight to 12 months? Uh, how do you see that uh, changing, or what, what are your thoughts? Data volume is uh, definitely increasing, and and you touched about uh, AI related workloads and yep. agentic uh, workloads. Definitely, that we are very ex ex excited about the possibilities, <laughs> and uh, the, these are these are in some ways new worlds, new uh, uh, newer data paradigms, newer workflows, uh, True. you know, evaluations that we need on top of all the agents that we need to build. So the the the. the uh, so we are we are moving into new territory and new kinds of uh, systems will need to be built. We believe a uh, significant amount of applications will be redone. Newer user experiences right. will be built. So all these uh, things, you know, we are predicting there is a lot of engineering to be done, uh, yeah. both from you know uh, Motorx side in our company and all uh, platform companies. So we are def partnering with multiple companies to um, kind of. Uh, 
uh, meet some of our needs and we are excited about uh, when working with companies like StreamNATO, which are very quick to react, they build the products that we need, the features that we want, and they have great uh, support again. I have to say this twice. Yeah, no, love it. Uh, that's awesome and uh, we can see the partnership uh, very well. Uh, so congrats on that. Uh, kind of also wanting to know a little bit more about the space. Uh, so, you know, uh, We've been kind of uh, seeing a lot in the last, uh, maybe the few years, uh, the openness and, you know, the ecosystem. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, this, uh, about this year's uh, Data Streaming Summit and um, how is it uh, intentionally kept more open and multi-technology? Uh, yeah, just wanting to uh, hear what you think about it. No, this this particular conference is, you know, I, I we, we feel that some of the, some of the people working on the bleeding edge of the streaming technology, uh, we meet them here, uh, some of the top leaders, and, uh, and we've even, consistently, even last year we were here, so uh, I, we've, I, I personally recommend a lot of people to come to, don't miss this conference. Uh, Love it. That's yeah, so, nice. And that's again because you know, it's, a, it's a group of uh, some of these experts working on next-gen uh, technologies. That's always been true, and I also appreciate that they bring in uh, folks from uh, different companies with uh, different platforms, and uh, this is a place where we can come and hear uh, different opinions that people have towards solving uh, uh, the same problem. So, so I greatly appreciate the team for organizing this kind of uh, diverse, uh, inviting diverse group of companies nice. to come and pitch their ideas. Yep. It's, yep. For companies like us, it's good to see all the options available, talk to those ex experts in person, um, build connections, we follow up after this, and, and use all these things to build the best system for our ecosystem, the ecosystem that we are serving. We want to optimize that ecosystem, but all this knowledge and connections, networking and partnerships help us achieve that goal. I love it. Uh, and definitely a very tight community when it comes to streaming, but also uh, it is a great way to bring people together to learn about what's happening in this space, how is it changing, how is it evolving, and being at the top of it, and I'm pretty sure enterprise leaders like yourself always feel more confident listening about the new things that are happening in this space. If you have to rate from zero to 10, uh, data streaming, how much would you give? 11. 11, oh wow, I love it, uh, that's fantastic. That's uh, how much you like data streaming, so that's awesome. One more last question for you uh, in terms of uh, motor as well. Uh, if people want to learn more about, uh, not only if they want to connect with you, but also learn more about Motor, where can they do that? Uh, they can, uh, of course, we have our uh, motor.com uh, website and uh, our LinkedIn pages, and we uh, we are expecting to have more uh, more content there across various nice. uh, forms available soon. We can they want to always reach out to us, uh, myself, or anyone. Uh, nice. in my team and we'd love to we'd love to watch it. Awesome. Uh, and they can connect with you on LinkedIn if I'm right. Absolutely. Awesome. This is great. Uh, Ashwin, such a pleasure chatting with you. We'll keep the conversation going. You shared some amazing insights uh, how uh, data streaming is moving, uh, how y'all have been using Stream Native and uh, what results y'all are seeing. Uh, but like I said, we'll keep the conversation going. Have a fantastic conference ahead and thanks for again visiting the Ravid Show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us today.